Okay, really quick, I figured I should record this. We're right about to go into the vintage warehouse. I'm back at the vintage warehouse. We might be picking through some new stuff today. I think he got in a new shipment of stuff. So we might be picking through some shirts. So I'm about to head in there right now. And if we find anything, obviously this will be a new video of picking the vintage warehouse. So let's go do it. Yeah, you guys thought that the first bag was good? Sheesh, look at this one. Got that Taz, 101 Dalmatians, Evil Dead, Rolling Stones, Nightmare Before Christmas. It just keeps going. This is absolutely crazy. Shout out my dude Rashid, just always supplying the heat. I'll leave his Instagram and his app. You guys know how it is. We do these $1 auctions. He's crazy for that. Okay, once again, quick shout out to my dude Rashid. He just lobbed me all of these out of the kindness of his heart. Four tees. Also, I have a new hat. Uh, comment below if I should wear this hat. I think that I'm gonna have it on during one of our Instagram live auctions. Just surprise Henry with it. But uh, the flame John Deere hat. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. It's super funny, but yeah. My dude, Vintage Guy 1985. Again, his out will be on the screen. He is the plug. Just again, gave me all of these. He knew they'd do good for me on Depop, all over print stuff. Man, this one is so sick. You guys look at this one. The 2000 Black Hills Rally T front and back print. That one is just hard. So I appreciate my dude. Thank you very much. Rashid feels some type of way about this little spot, so let's do some live finds. Ford. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Those are grails. Ooh, chopped, but Generation X. Anything else? What's that? Oh, oh, that's why we feel some type of way. Mm. Yep. Got another one. Pull it out. Ooh. Ah, these things are just short. That's so, so large. It's so large. Back it? Just a. Yeah, back it. Yep. Flip skateboarding tee. This one is crazy. Wow. It's a dope one. 
See the shag? Let's see what it is. Oh, yep, called it. Nice. Yep, it's a good one. No background? What size is that? Size large. It's a good one. I think it's like a hundred dollar key. Sick. Yeah, it won't fit me, so. Going to auction for a dollar. One dollar. Sick. Sheesh. Basketball got deflated, though. This one's super cool. Have a nice day. Garfield biting the smiley face in half. Super sick. We're like halfway through this bin. We have so much stuff, dude. Look at this pile. Oh my god. To everyone that was looking for a Desert Storm ET collab shirt, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> we got you. Super high demand on these things, we know. So, um, yeah, just bang our line. It's our like third USA Thunder tee of the day. I think, is this a Marvel tee right next to it? I think it is. Okay, let's hope it's not the racist one. It's the racist Is it really one. gone? Way to manifest that. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Let's see what these guys are. I think they're Harleys. Oh. Miami Heat. This one. Large. Cool. This looks like a Harley. Oh. So. Racing Tom, uh, Kyle petty. petty. Richard Petty. Richard Petty. Actually got our box of stuff here and then this is all stuff that is also a yes but we're gonna save for a different time so crazy heading out though all right we got some stuff sheesh I'll show you guys when i get home everything we got Okay, what is up everybody? We have a ton of stuff to go over that I got from my dude Rashid and that I also got from the Vintage Warehouse. First off, before I go through everything, if you guys have made it this far in the video, you haven't liked the video, please take that like one second that it takes to like the video and subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. It would really, really help me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. Just a quick disclaimer because I do get asked about it every time I put these videos up and while I do appreciate all of the support and I appreciate you guys being super stoked and interested in and what I'm doing and the warehouse that I go to and everything. This is just a quick disclaimer that I can't give you any information about the warehouse. I can't tell you where it's located. I can't give you the address, which people have asked for before. And if you guys are looking for something like this in your area, I can't really help you either. I just got into this through a friend and the place that we do go to is not a public place. It's a private place. They don't take new clients or anything like that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because I do get a ton of comments and messages about it. And basically I just got into it out of luck. And I know that you guys are super interested and super excited about it as am I like honestly it's such a blessing and like I'm super grateful to be able to just go into there it's like a dream come true so I understand why anyone would want to go into them but it just kind of happened by luck and they're not exactly an easy thing to find or get into so I just wanted to put that out there that I don't really speak about it so I appreciate you guys so much for being interested but I can't really help you guys out anyways let's get into these things I think I'm gonna go through the stuff that Rashid plugged me with first and like I said, almost all this stuff, if not all of it, is going to be for sale through $1 auctions. I do $1 auctions on Friday nights with my friend Henry. Him and his wife Haley run an Instagram account called Final Flame Vintage. I'll put it up on the screen right now. We go live together on Fridays and we run things starting at $1. We also do buy it now, stuff like that. So that's all over on Instagram, at my Instagram, loveless.vintage. I'll put it up on the screen right now. So almost all these things will only be available through sale on the Instagram live auction. So I'm not doing buy it nows on Instagram. Any of these things so sorry if you guys want to hit me up for these pieces you have to be in the auctions to bid on them you guys know how it works so let's just go through this bag I guess I'll just start with some things that he just gave to me out of the goodness of his heart these are things he picked up like super cheap or at bins or stuff like that and he was like yo you do so much work for me so here you go just have these pieces so super super sick first off this John Deere flame hat we kind of got this as a joke so if you guys tune in the auctions you guys will see later why this is kind of funny so he got me this and then these are four tees that he just plugged me for free. So I'm gonna go through these. He knows exactly what I like to post on Depop. He knew they would move really well for me on Depop. So again, I appreciate you, Rashid, so much. Thank you. So I think this is like a Puerto Vallarta all over print, front and back tee. It's probably like a mid 2000s, not old or anything, size large. These four items will be for sale. These are more Depop geared things and they were gifted directly to me. So they will be for sale. Front and back print, just cool like Aztec print graphic. We got 
got this one is a vintage single stitch size XL. It's just the front print, super, super sick front print though. It says Deadwood, South Dakota. I love the lightning and it's like a horse carriage. No back print, but really, really cool. This is a 2013 like reprint liquid blue Grateful Dead Sea front and back print. These on Depop still do like $25, $30 depending on the design. So really cool. And then this is my favorite one. I can't believe you just gave it to me. This is a year 2000 Black Hills Rally Sturgis tee with the lightning all over print front and back print this thing seems like it's like a medium but this thing is so sick honestly i'm probably gonna post this on depop for like 50 bucks like it's just absolutely crazy the graphic is nuts front and back print no tag but like i said seems like it's like a medium and then these two pieces i did buy off of him he just did five dollars each and i was super happy to pay that since he gave me all that really good stuff for free so this is also a very depop thing it says book woman and it's from 1989 it's just a really cool and cute graphic of a lady reading a book super super sick for depop honestly probably like 30 bucks on depop and then this one is a vintage single stitch the tag is super worn out but it's like a shark tee it has a little wraparound print that kind of goes on to the back but yeah single stitch shark tee probably like an xl probably throw this on depop for like 20 or 25 bucks so those pieces are for sale everything else i'm going to show you with the exception of two more pieces that i got from the warehouse will all not be for sale they're only going to be for sale in our one dollar auction so again make sure you check them out i'm just going to go through all these pieces so these are still pieces that Rashid plugged me with this is a big print mickey t single stitch it's size one size fits most it seems like an xl or bigger no back print but really really cool love the colors and graphic this one is really sick i haven't looked this up this is on a blue bar anvil tag and it is a size xl this is a spider-man web of shadows video game promo t i really really like the big graphic i also like the marvel and activision hits so again one dollar auction piece we got this great Dave Digger. This is on an all sport blank size medium. This is a long sleeve and man the back hit first off the front hit super super sick. Also with the sleeve hits, the flames, you know, crazy. But then the back hit, look at that back hit. I just love the Grave Digger colors. They're always like neon green and there's orange and stuff in them. Another $1 auction piece. We got this, I think Star Trek T. Yeah, Star Trek T. So this is the back hit size large on an old Gildan blank Star Trek. It says Star Trek communicator. Cool little Star Trek T right there. We got some bangers right here this is a dragon ball zt this is size xl on a dragon ball usa tag right there we got the front hit just right there and then the back hit i don't know a lot about dragon ball z at all as i've never really watched it but a ton of people keep telling me you need to watch it so maybe i'll go watch it leave it in the comments should i watch dragon ball z i'm 26 should i start watching it now i don't know if age really matters but i feel like it's a thing that you watched when you were like a kid and then it's probably going to be harder for me to get into it but we have another Dragon Ball Z tee. This one is really dope. I really, really like the colors on it. This one's on a colored Dragon Ball Z tag, size XL. And this is the front hit. This is the back hit. That back hit is super sick. I really, really love the colors. This one is an anime that I definitely have seen and I really, really like. This is a Trigun T. We got the front hit right here. This is a size medium on the triple A tag. We got the front print. We got the back hit right here with Vash right there. Super sick. I love the big back hit and I love this anime. Really, really good one. We got this, the Simpsons Apu, like Quickie Mart uniform. I have no idea. He just threw it to me and he was like, just try it. So like I said, everything starts at a dollar. So if someone gets this for like 10 or 15 bucks, it's all good. So the Simpsons tag and then the Quickie Mart hit and then the Apu on the back very unique piece i haven't ran anything like that in an auction you got this really cool scooby-doo this is a single stitch scooby-doo and the cool thing about it is it is a front and back hit we got the tag right there there's the back print scooby-doo where are you i love this show so much growing up man i used to watch it all the time this is a size large made in usa single stitch all the way around super cool he got the amy grant rashid is like making fun of me because there was an amy grant shirt that we found in the warehouse and i was like i don't really know if like people would bid on it in an auction so we keep leaving it like every time i see it and he's like you know what no bro you have to run this one so i think he found this one out in the wild amy grant front and back print it's on a nice man blank i really really love this blank love this tag it's honestly probably becoming a new favorite just the t's on it are really sick size large front and back prints yeah amy grant
I mean, she makes good music. I just don't know if anyone would bid on it. We have another Dragon Ball Z tee. This is on another color tag, size medium. And some of these Dragon Ball tees on the color tags are like going crazy. I think it's 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Some of the like 2008 designs are selling for like 400 to like 700, $800. I'm not exactly sure how much it will go for, but it has potential to get up there. There's no back print, just the front print. So really interested to see what this one will end up going for. We have a few Spider-Man tees. This is the first one. It's not old or anything. It's just on this Gildan blank, universal blank. So probably like mid 2000s, later 2000s. And yeah, the front hit and the back hit. Again, we just run everything at a dollar. So if it sells for 15, it's all good. We just like want to throw tees up for people to get for a steal. Next, we have tees from my favorite game ever. Here is a Warcraft tee. This is actually Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. So World of Warcraft is my favorite game, but I did play Warcraft 2 and 3 in high school a little bit. So we got the front hit right there. And then we got the back hit with the Alliance. Um, you don't really mess with Alliance. I am more of a Horde person. It's always for the Horde, baby. This one is a front like mullet hit. This is actually for World of Warcraft, but the back hit, this one is a size large. I think the other one's a size large also. We might run these as bundle, but like who would want an Alliance shirt and a Horde shirt? You have to pick or choose. You can't be both. We got this sick like mid 2000s Ozzy Osbourne tee, size XL on a Hanes heavyweight blank. We normally have like a band tee night, so we'll probably run that then. We got this cute, Betty Boop T size XL on this Delta blank. I really, really love the color of this one. What does this one say? Something about cookies? One cute cookie. That's super cute. Front and back print. I just really like the colors and graphic. This one I've had before and I actually sold it on Depop. I got this in a mystery box like over a year ago. This is a Star Trek tee. Really, really love the graphic. Like the graphic is crazy with the colors. This is a size large on a changes blank. And I think it's dated like 1990. Yeah, 1991. 1991, single stitch all the way around. Super, super clean. I think I sold mine for like 45 or so. But again, $1 auction piece. This one is super familiar to me. Like I was trying to talk to Rashid about it and I couldn't really remember it, but something within me was like, I think I know what this is. It says, where in the zoo is Carmen San Diego? I think it was like a show backslash computer game. That's what he was saying. It's on the fabric art tag size XL. Here's the back hit. I'm gonna have to like look it up just because I'm interested and I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was like a computer game backslash show. Not exactly sure, but pretty cool tee. We have a Taz shirt. Is this front and back? No, it's just front print, but it says Looney Tunes with Taz. Kind of art pop, like Keith Haring-esque graphic around it. Really, really like that. It's on this like faded black, almost gray tee, single stitch, and it's a super faded sun tag, but really, really like that graphic. I really like solo character hits, like just a Taz tee or just like a Daffy tee or something like that. Yo, this shirt is so sick. So Phantom of the Opera shirts are pretty common. You guys normally will see like a black Phantom of the opera shirt all the time this one is white though and the graphic on it is really really cool it's on this hanes beefy size xl it does have some stains on it i'm gonna try to soak it the best i can and get them out before the auction but if it goes for the low because it's stained it's whatever but yeah again here's the tag probably the coolest fan in the opera tee i've ever seen this is what we have left from rasheed i'm gonna toss the bag over there really quick so we have this is a mortal Kombat shirt the shirt is so sick i think it's from two 2010 it's like pieces of the person ripped open and like blood and then on the back it says finish him with the big hit honestly even though this isn't vintage like with the movie coming out this will probably do pretty well i don't see this selling for less than like 20 or 30 bucks even though again it's not vintage but really cool graphic and i haven't seen this graphic print before so i thought that one was really sick we have another Spider-Man tee. This one is like dead stock, size 2XL. This one has the marble hit on the sleeve and it also has the graffiti hit on the sleeve. I think this is like early 2000s, maybe mid 2000s, but just the front print graphic there. We have another one, same deal with the graffiti hit on the sleeve, as you guys can see. This one is an XL on this Hanes heavyweight tag, just the front print graphic again. This is a size small. I wish this wasn't a size small. I would probably try to bid on it for myself if it wasn't. The shirt is so sick. It's the Orco from Masters of the Universe. Super, super sick. It's on this Toltex blank, size small. Wow, this tee is just 
So sick. When do you see a solo hit for your character like that? The collars are awesome, but again, size small on that one. We got a SpongeBob tee. I think we have two SpongeBob tees. I've never ran a SpongeBob tee, but people were running them a lot in auctions as of like a few months ago, and I'm not sure if the hype is still there, but Nickelodeon tag. This one is a size large XL, and it is a SpongeBob nerdy pants bikini bottom, just a light blue tee, cool little front hit graphic. I really did love SpongeBob growing up, probably one of my favorite shows. This one is sick. I think it's a Mexico bootleg with the front print and then the back print mirroring it. If you guys see these tees that have like the crazy front print and then the back is basically the same graphic, but like with no color, it's a Mexican bootleg and they're not worth a lot. I do see people paying up for some of these. This one has a giant hole in the sleeve, unfortunately, and it is a size junior. It just says junior. So this honestly seems like an extra small. So not sure what this will go for with the big hole in the sleeve and everything, but Rashid gave it to me and just wants me to run it for a dollar anyways. We got two more tees that Rashid hooked me up with and then we'll go to the warehouse stuff. So this one is a Joe Cool, super, super sick front and back hit on this crispy changes tag. This is like dead stock, size large, single stitch all the way around. These are always like parody tees, kind of like Calvin Klein tees. So Joe Cool, the back hit. And the last tee that he plugged me with is another SpongeBob tee, size double XL with the Nickelodeon tag, but then the M&O tag behind it. Front print graph. It just says hooked on SpongeBob. Super, super sick. So those are all the tees that Rashid hooked me up with. We're going to go into the warehouse tees really quick. Let me put these over here. Cool. And now we're going to get into all the tees that we got from the warehouse that will be for $1 auction. We probably have like over a month's worth of stuff. We normally run like 10 to 12 pieces whenever we do an auction. So we have a lot of stuff right now. These first two pieces, however, will be for sale. I bought these outright from him and I basically bought them for Depop. Like I said, these tees do really, really well for me on Depop, but if you need them, you can totally hit me up on Instagram at loveless.vintage if you need to get your hands on them. So this one is a front and back print, wraparound print, like grizzly bear tee, brown bear. It says Victoria, Canada on the bottom of it. But like I said, these tees do super well for me on Depop. This is a probably early 2000s one. And yeah, I would probably charge like $30 for this on Depop. And then this one, I honestly might charge a little bit more for on Depop. I think I might test this one out, might put it up for like 35 to 40, but this one is so sick. Look at this like lizard, iguana, whatever this is. It's some type of reptile, but the front print, but the back print, yo, it's giant. Look at that giant back print. This one is single stitch on the sleeves, double stitch on the bottom. It's on this HL Miller tag, size XL. These two will be for sale if you guys need them. You guys heard what I expect to get out of them. That one probably at least 30. This one probably more like $40. Super, super sick on that one. So those tees are for sale. Everything else in here is not for sale, only for sale through the $1 auctions. Let's get into it. First off, we have this crazy NWA bootleg. It's a tank top, unfortunately. I love the color with the front hit right above this pocket. Like it also has a pocket, but you guys, the best part, the back print, and it has all of the members' names. Not sure how well you're gonna be able to see that, but all the members' names, NWA and the posse. This would honestly be a crazy tee if it was actually just a t-shirt. But nonetheless, we're still gonna run it for $1. Super, super sick piece. This one also crazy piece, the No Limit Records embroidered bootleg tee, single stitch all the way around, no tag, but this one is crazy. I love the fade. I found like three No Limit tees now, and yeah, honestly, really crazy tees. They hold a decent amount of value too. This one I posted on my Instagram yesterday. This video is probably gonna come out like a week or two later from when I actually posted it, but I'll put a picture of it, of the Instagram post up right here. And yeah, people went crazy for this one. I think I had like 15 DMs from skate collectors, ton of people, I've been looking for this one. How did you find this one? This is a flip. So it's a skateboard tee. This is a skateboard company. And while I did grow up skateboarding and I know a lot about all the companies and most of the skaters and stuff, I am not well versed in skate tees. When I got into vintage, I got into band tees and that's what I have a lot of knowledge about, not skate tees. So when people started sending me offers for this, even though I said it was not for sale, I was like blown away. I was like, what is going on? Again, here's the graphic. I forget what skater this is for, but I already have had a $300 offer for this tee, but 
we run these tees for one dollar for everyone so basically when people hit me up and they really really want something i'm like yo thanks for the interest but we're running it for one dollar to make it super fair because there's so many people interested and then whenever we do run it i let them know like the day before and then i send them the live when it's up so yeah this could sell for $300 like that dude offered me. You never know. He could not join the auction. Someone else could get it for like $152. You never know. But I was blown away that this was a $300, probably a little bit more dollar T. The tag I think is the golden like flip tag that everyone really, really likes. It's super worn out though. You can't even like see what it says and it's like falling off. But yeah, $300 skate tee. That was nuts. I did not think it was going to be worth that much. Also had a ton of people hit me up for this one. It is a youth large, unfortunately, but for a youth large, it looks like a pretty good size. But this one is a Britney Spears tee on the all sport blank. Again, size youth large, but honestly, like, yeah, this honestly seems like a small, maybe even medium in it could definitely get a good stretch on it. With the like Britney documentary, I think it was coming out and all this stuff coming out about her dad. There's been a ton of interest in Britney Spears. So I had so many people hit me up for it. But again, $1 auction piece. This is just a Dilbert tee, but I like that it's kind of like a tech tee also because it has the AT&T hit on the back. I also really love this blank it's on. It's on an all sport blank. This one is kind of thrashed, but it is on the one size fits all blue Disney tag. This is like a 80s, early 90s tag. And it's this all over wraparound print like surf mickey tee like i said it does have some holes and distressing and everything but super sick tee nonetheless this one is really cool it is like boxy and kind of short but it is a wily e. coyote and roadrunner tee single stitch all the way around and the tag says it's a size xl but again pretty boxy and has some light staining and stuff no back hit just really like the big front print you got a really cool star trek t the next generation captain picard i've never really watched star trek so forgive me but i think it's picard i think that's how you say it size large on a changes blank single stitch all the way around and yeah just a cool front hit graphic this one is so sick it's a nine inch nails on a giant blank Link thermal. I just thought this was so sick. Not really the time of year to sell this. It's spring, like looking like summer already out here, but has like the cool sleeve print. I think it's like barcode sleeve print. And then this is embroidered the Nin nine inch nails on a giant blank. And on the back, it says with teeth, super, super sick. Honestly, like a thermal, like on a giant blank really really cool this one is the infamous zero t that sid is wearing in toy story obviously it doesn't have the zero logo in the forehead i think but this is like the same exact t so not exactly sure what this will go for it has some pit holes and it seems like it's maybe a medium it actually has a ton of little holes that i didn't even see in it so i don't know what this will go for but we have some skate tees so we decided to throw that one in too we have two of these american thunder tees this is the back print on american thunder tees and then they all have different front prints this one is like a native american with some skulls and the cool thing about this one is that it is an xl and it's like a true xl because normally these tees are really like boxy and short so it is really cool that this one is definitely like a true xl has some thrashing on it and stuff but these tees are really hot right now this one's kind of sick it is a front and back print donald duck but it's made to look like a sports card tee on the mickey unlimited tag right here and this guy is single stitch all the way around really sick one another really cool one that rashid said he would be bidding on for himself i really really want to see rashid in this tee it's a pink betty boop front and back print tee with an elephant he was like i just really like elephants so he wanted this one this is an 80s one it's single stitch honestly i think this might be kind of like a sleep shirt but i think it fit more just like a modern day like xl so really cool betty boop we got a striped disney tee this is 20 magical years from 1971 to 1991 and it is a striped tee which i thought was really cool and it has like one of those like thicker collars so really cool made in usa on the disney wear tag really like the graphic and colors we got another betty boop tee we've had this one and ran it before this is a size large on a universal tag with just the red betty boop on the front and the back little small back hit but really cool nonetheless. I really like how she's given the wink. This one, whoo, my roommate actually just bought this tee in a double XL like a few months ago. And we pulled this one today in an XL, same exact shirt on the Tour Champ size XL blank. This is a Xena Warrior Princess tee. Super, super sick 
front print only, but wow, this graphic is absolutely crazy. We had another Xena T and uh, it really, really ran up in auction. So I'm curious to see what this one will go for. Amazing graphics. Another show that I haven't seen that I feel like I need to watch just because their shirts are so badass. Here's the other American Thunder T. This one does fit more like a true American Thunder T, meaning it's like boxy and short. Seems like it'd be a medium, but man, that front print graphic is absolutely crazy. These tees are super, super Super sick. I love the colors. I love that the Thunder is mainly like purple. I think I've seen like blue ones too, but super sick. Still have like 15 tees. This is going to be a longer video, you guys. We have the Solo Sylvester, the Cats tee. Sylvester? Why am I blanking on this? His name is Sylvester, isn't it? I'm not going to second guess it. It's Sylvester. <laughs> Front print. This guy is double stitched, no tag, but this seems like an XL. It seems pretty big. No back print. You got a Cobain tee, Kurt Cobain. This is size large on the Tennessee River. So this is like a mid 2000s one. Just the front hit, but really cool. Some nice distressing on it. No back hit. And again, $1 piece. We'll probably have that on like a band tee night. This one is a get back with Big Mac. It's like a retro Big Mac. You got the McDonald's hit right here. And then I think you have a Coke. Yeah, you have a Coke hit down here on this Prime Tees tag, size large. I thought the colors were super sick and it's kind of like a snack promo tee. Honestly, if you would have found this a few months ago when the Travis Scott McDonald's stuff was going crazy, I probably would have been a little bit better, but still a dope one. We have another kind of skate streetwear tee. This is a Stussy Roots tee. This is size large, made in USA, single stitch. We'll probably run this the same night we do the flip and like the zero tee. This is a Congo movie tee. Rashid was telling me about this movie and it sounded really interesting. I think I'm going to have to watch it. On the all sport blank size large, this guy is single stitch all the way around. Just the front print, no back print. But yeah, it's just basically like the movie poster for Congo. Got another like snack tee. This says chill out and it is a Chester the Cheeto. Chester the Cheeto. <laughs> it is a Chester the Cheetah from Cheetos promo tee. It says it's not easy being cheesy. It's this like cream off white color. And this guy is single stitch all the way around. Really, really like that graphic. So we had another Garfield tee in one of our auctions and it didn't do very well. And I really, really liked it. And I honestly really wanted it, but I didn't bid on it. This one, I had a few people asking me about it and I really want this one too. So I'm very conflicted, but this is a super sick Garfield. It says, have a nice day and he's like biting a smiley face in half so sick it's dated 1978 it's obviously not from 1978 this one is probably like a early 90s maybe even late 80s one but yeah single stitch all the way around no back print it does have some stains on it but man this one is super sick i really really like this one a few more teas we got another like snack promo tea this is a trident gum promo tea size large on the all sport we have a lot of all sport tags this time around and this one says mtv beach on the back so not really sure what the deal is with this probably some MTV promo, but I really like the classic retro Trident gum hit on the front. We got a few band tees. We got this Pantera front and back print, Reinventing the Steel. This is a tour tee from 2001. There is no tag, but this one seems like it's a larger XL. I just realized that Morbid Angel was on this tour. That's so sick. Damn, so Pantera Banty. We got this Papa Roach Banty cut my life into. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> this is a size large on an all sport blank. So many all sport blanks. And just the front print, super sick. Honestly, probably the sickest Papa Roach shirt. Not even sure if I've seen a lot of Papa Roach shirts, but no back print super dope this one i'm so bummed because i bought this shirt on ebay like a few weeks ago and then the owner of the warehouse is like i found this one a few days ago same exact tee i bought on ebay jeez and this one actually has the tag mine doesn't this one is an invader zim size xl on the nickelodeon tag destroy everything if you guys listen to hardcore and stuff or have ever heard of hate breed it's super funny because they have a song called destroy everything so it's like an invader zim hate breed mashup tee that's just exactly where my mind goes every time i see this tee so i had to own it in the personal collection i think i got mine for a pretty good deal i think they had it listed for like 100 on ebay and i think i got it for like 70 so pretty good deal i expect this tee to fetch around that probably like 70 to 100 on auction but i really want this one because it has the tag mine doesn't but super sick tees we have three tees left this is a super mario like bootleg tee uh yeah don't have a ton of info on this one has little mushrooms on the bottom it has some stains up on the shoulder and this is what the tag is like size large 
definitely a bootleg but cool nonetheless like video game tees and stuff are super in so couldn't tell you guys like what era this is from i'm guessing maybe late 90s early 2000s last two tees are another kurt cobain tee size small on the red bar anvil blank so this is not really a vintage one it's probably like a mid 2000s one but i love that it has the front print right there and then the back print of his like guitar layout i really do like having these smaller tees too because we do have a lot of size small or size medium people that do watch the auction so i love having some pieces for them which brings us to our last tee which is a size small hansen tee with the band right there this is size small on the delta blank and yeah that is gonna do it that's the last tee that we will have again all of these will be for one dollar auction on my instagram at loveless vintage if you guys don't follow me i'm putting it on the screen right now i probably put it on the screen like four other times in the video but you guys need to follow me that's the only way to purchase these tees again i appreciate you guys so much for watching please leave a like on the video subscribe if you aren't subscribed turn the little bell on for notifications whenever i drop new videos i do new videos every week or at least i try to do new videos every week again i really appreciate you guys this is jackson's loveless vintage peace out you guys